accessibility to decent housing remains one of the challenges in Namibia. Utoni says it is high time government institutions join efforts to provide affordable housing to address the shortage. It really cannot be correct that a government-owned institution established with the sole purpose of building affordable houses is struggling to get affordable land from other government institutions, which are the local authorities. I really think that time has come, colleagues, that we really innovate solution and jointly address the housing needs. Utoni further called for affordable land prices to enable many people build their homes. The NHE vowed to fight homelessness in Namibia. With 76 houses in total on this project, of which 72 are in Karibu and the remaining four are in Omaruru, we cannot ever underestimate the positive impact this will have on our community at large. Director of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, I have faith that those tasked with their respective roles in, deliver, in delivering on their housing initiatives will do so with the highest level of commitment in order to ensure the improvement of the living conditions for our people and the socio-economic enhancement and acceleration of Namibia. Construction started weeks ago and is expected to take seven months to complete. More than 300 residential plots in Karibub's USEP Extension 2 are also on the cards. In line with the government, unwavering commitment to accelerate the provision of affordable housing and access to service urban land. Caribbean Town Council secured funding from the central government through the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development to plan and service 309 residential urban in USAP Extension 2. <laughs> The town council is in partnership with the Namibia Housing Action Plan to serve USAB informal settlement with basic services such as water and sewage for 700 households.